Hello boys and girls and welcome to the channel. Get ready for episode 3 of the epic epic ride, famously known as Salty Sikkim Odyssey. After braving 4 days of relentless summer heat and the wild chaos of Jharkhand and Bihar routes, I finally made it to Siliguri. Trust me, the ride from Siliguri to Gangtok was like a postcard coming to life. The most scenic adventure I've had so far and it was all uphill from here, both literally and figuratively. As I ventured deep into the enchanting Sikkim countryside, the landscapes got even more mesmerizing. In this video, we journey from Gangtok to Mangan on day 7 of the epic adventure. So sit back, relax and enjoy the ride. Make sure to watch till the end, you don't want to miss even a single moment. Roll the intro. This is Salty and you're watching Salty Rides. <clears throat> so welcome to day 7 of the epic, epic ride. <laughs> uh, my helmet is fogging up. I have not applied the anti-fog whatever thing. Uh, so I have to keep the visor up. But then I'm not going too fast so you can hear me clearly. So I am leaving Gangtok. I am heading towards Mangan. Now if the agent guy can get my permit by today itself, then I will leave. No, I, I don't think he can get me the permit by today itself. He will get me a permit for tomorrow. So um, I think I will uh, leave for Lachung tomorrow. And uh, I don't know if I should go all the way up to zero point. I don't know how my body will react. Uh, depending on what happens right now, uh, when I go to Mangan, I will decide. Mangan is a bit uh, at a higher altitude than Gangtok, I think. Gangtok is about 6,000 feet. Mangan is a little bit higher than that. And then La Chung is again a bit higher than that. And then, uh, you know, Valley of Lars and uh, Zero Point, all of those are, I think, about 15,000, 16,000 feet. The highest point that I could have gone to uh, was, uh, uh, I don't know what fall this is. Oh, Bakthang Falls. I mean, not much falling. But yeah, Bhaktang Falls, uh, congratulations, uh, you have been graced with my presence. <laughs> no, no, it's the other way around. Anyway, so the highest point that I could have gone to was uh, Gurdongmar Lake, which was at 17,000 something, 800 feet, I think, 17,500 or 17,800 feet. But uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, they have not opened the uh, Lachen route from uh, Chungthang. So, from Chungthang, only Lachung is open, Lachen is not open. So, nobody is allowed to go to Gurdongmar, uh, and it has not opened since last October when there was that glacial uh, outburst. glacial outburst something flood so flash flood or George or whatever so yeah since then since then Gurdangmar has not been opened uh, the agent was saying maybe after a month it will open we don't have any proper update on that so our bad luck continues to haunt us so no Gurdangmar uh, this time around I think that was the um, you know spot I was uh, the most excited about but 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 but, but. Uh, not to worry uh, the valley of flowers is equally beautiful and uh, you know zero point there will be snow <laughs> so what's happening is in the day the weather is all okay uh, I think after 3 30 4 o'clock 
it is starting to rain in most parts in Sikkim and I think it is starting to snow uh, further up north so let's see well let's see but then there's uh, for sure there's gonna be snow in at zero point is what I think I mean I don't want to jinx it by saying it right now and then later on there'll be no fucking snow but I don't think you know my jinxes are that effective that you know <laughs> the snow is gonna disappear from zero point but uh, Yeah, so the snow is not going to disappear. I think, I think we will see snow at zero point. So, if I'm not feeling too uh, sick or whatever, I will try to do it tomorrow itself. And uh, if not, then tomorrow I'll stop at La Chung, and then day after tomorrow I'll do both zero point and. Um, there's one more place uh, starting from K uh, which I forget because I am in the moment and whenever I need it I don't remember shit so it starts from K so I'll do both of those uh, and then uh, you know ideal scenario would be I get the permit today for today itself and then uh, I go and stay at La Chung today and then from La Chung tomorrow I do the place from K and day after tomorrow I go to Valia Flowers and Zero Point but uh, let's see let's see dude I mean there's nothing to worry about okay Google just read out it to someone am I not on National Highway 10 you dumb bitch I don't know man, Google is like, you know, always just rerouting, it thinks that I'm on the road, like on, on, on a parallel road or something, but he, Google doesn't understand elevation, <laughs> I'm on the right route, it says, uh, make a U-turn, take a right, fucking Google, fucking improve your stuff. So quick update on the whole, uh, you know, not bringing the laptop situation if you have not seen I have not I'm not carrying my laptop so um, I was thinking you know I will just upload all of my stuff to Google Drive I'll just you know start the upload in the night go to sleep by morning the upload will be completed but Google Drive was like Fuck you I don't want large files go f yourself so then I was like, okay, let me try to get a card reader and whatnot. Card reader, connector, blah, 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 OTG. Let me get all of that and try to transfer from the card directly to the hard drive that I have. But usme bhi, my luck was like, go f*** yourself. Then I thought, let me uh, subscribe to the Dropbox Premium subscription and see what happens. Now that showed some promising results, but then I don't know whether it was the internet or uh, what, even that stopped uploading. Like it was able to upload 300, 400 MB files, but uh, 6, 10 GB files it was not able to upload. then finally i found like a good samaritan with a mac i was like dude just help me out over here i need to transfer my stuff from my memory cards to my hard drive he said for sure bro which way am i supposed to go see Google doesn't tell you all of this. There's a Y junction over here. Am I supposed to go left or am I supposed to go right? Nothing. Nothing is coming. 
Yeah, I can go either way, I guess. Yeah, so the Good Samaritan helped me out, guys. So I have uh, two clean memory cards. So again, I am using the one camera policy right now. You know? So that I have enough space. And just in case, for emergency, I have bought uh, two more memory cards. But then... Again, my luck, I did not buy the memory cards in Siliguri and I was like, oh, Gangtok me mil jayega. I came here and they were like, there are no 256 GB memory cards in the whole of Gangtok. You can do whatever the fuck you want, you'll get only 128 GB memory cards. And even those are like almost, uh, you know, twice the price that you get it uh, on Amazon. I know all the logistics and shit people would have stocked up uh, at a different cost they don't want to lose their money wow <laughs> what a road man what a fucking road i love this The hills are the best place to ride your bike. Hands down. The dopest roads ever. The dopest of dope roads. And damn, there's a lot of uh, cute uh, police women <laughs> in Gangtok. Me likey. Mm, almost uh, uh, all the girls uh, around these areas are cute. If you're like an ugly girl in these areas and you've been, uh, you know, dealt a fucking, you know, bad hand. Man, I love this ride. Okay, now Google has just rerouted for some reason. I don't know for what reason it has rerouted. But it just said, Tudung. And then it's like, continue for two kilometers. Okay, bitch. I will continue. I don't mind just, you know, wandering around these roads. I'm in no hurry to get anywhere. looks like some uh, point let's see what's going on over here Himalayan viewpoint okay I think you can see that mountain from here yeah nothing too exciting Whoa, this is, oh my god this is what uh, most riders have wet dreams about riding in such roads small small bridges <laughs> there's so much fun
<laughs> look at the height of that mountain man i mean you, you seem so small in front of that I think I'm getting like a little bit of a stuffy nose. Beautiful village again. All the villages are like so fucking beautiful. So beautiful. So in front of us if you can't see there is a mountain. There's like a I it looks like you're looking at the horizon but no that is a big ass mountain in front of us. Not this one, not this one. I'll I'll show you. That one. You see <laughs> you see the line? That is what I'm talking about. Mm. It like peeps over here. a lot of uh, tourists i thought i thought uh, april and all is not like a main uh, touristy time but then there is quite a few tourists i don't know what place this is it's kind of busy oh, it's another waterfall Uh, I'm gonna shop at the Bhim Nala waterfall for sure. Uh, there's a karaoke, and uh, everybody who knows me knows that I am a big, big karaoke buff. I like karaoke stuff. Yesterday at the hostel. I don't know people were just playing EDM and then sitting there you know just doing the doing whatever they 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 were doing it was boring but then I, I don't know if they had like fire up the karaoke there was a mic and everything but I don't think uh, there was any karaoke pop over there so initially it was all EDM and then uh, uh, there's a mini waterfall over here look at that after the dichuk dichuk uh, in came uh, mr arijit and after arijit was done <laughs> in came mr honey singh not a mini waterfall over here i think we're going to see a lot of these uh, because the glaciers they start melting around this time and then a lot of water starts coming down these hills and then uh, you know goes into the rivers and stuff a dichukuk dichukuk i might have to stop and change the battery i don't know what is the battery percentage right now let's see whenever we see a shop or something i'm going to stop there change the battery quickly Well, we have. <laughs> I 
not we i mean the bike had its first fall uh so what happened was there was a very sharp right turn and i was uh, coming downhill there was a family on a royal enfield coming uphill and uh, uh they were going to fall there was a small kid with them so i was like oh let me uh you know get off my bike and to help them so i put my bike on stand and then um you know got off the bike <laughs> and then i went to lift the bike and then you know behind me my bike fell on his bike and then this is what happened look at the mirror nothing other than that a little bit of the coolant i think it leaked uh, it fell on the other side of the coolant thing so i'm pretty sure the coolant tank does not have any damage <laughs> I wanted to help the family but then in turn that guy lifted the bike for me and I was like what the f dude <laughs> anyway shit happens shit happens the first fall the bike has had uh the backbuster took uh, most of the brunt and then uh I had a um, Okay, I have to adjust the mirror a little bit. At least see some fucking thing out of it. Cuz these There is no left Google. Ha! Ah, I don't think there's much uh, damage to the bike. Uh but yeah, the jerry can holder which I had, you know, put on top of the crash bar that is broken <laughs> fair right what what do you mean take the next right i'll fall off the fucking cliff you dumb fucking o- again it's can rerouting god damn it Again next left where Oh my god My god Left is a set of stairs Google What are you saying <clears throat> सही तो जा रहा है यार क्या कुछ भी पके जा रही है हाँ आफ्टर आई स्टॉप लुक एट द थिंग फॉर लाइक टू मिनट्स एंड वेस्ट द टाइम देयर इट्स एस कंटिन्यू फॉर थ्री किलोमीटर्स गूगल इज सो गूगली कीप्स थ्रोइंग गूगलीज एट मी ना दॉइंट लेट वॉर ऑफ ओ seems like it's going to rain no kar lete hain abhi se taiyari aage ruk ke kar lenge so say i'm getting hit by small small droplets of rain so i'm going to quickly prepare for the eventuality of uh, you know heavier rain i'm going to quickly stop get some rain stuff on
<laughs> when you are in the hills, you are treated to unparalleled beauty. But the trade-off is that Mother Nature is far less forgiving in these parts. I encountered a fresh landslide area where the road was incredibly slushy. One slip and I could have found myself in the river below. जाएगा ना The truck drivers were definitely not thrilled with my inexperience in navigating these treacherous conditions. And believe me, this was just the beginning. The worst was yet to come, with Google Maps playing the major role in the biggest mishap of this ride. But that's a story for the next episode. Stay tuned for episode 4 of the epic, epic ride, Salty Sikkim Odyssey, for more thrilling adventures and unexpected challenges. Make sure to like this video, share and subscribe. That's it for this episode. Until the next one, stay safe, ride safe. Peace out, guys.